kind of a it's like a not sweet it does it doesn't have a bitter taste or anything to it need salt and butter <laughs> no There's, you know it's got its own taste it's got its own taste and no uh, uh, to, to have the whole story, of, we're, we're talking about uh, having, you know, as we were saving the Ondaga language, there's this old woman who, the uh, son of George, who has a tape on, on talking back then how the, how the dogs eat them and how they ate them, they fry them up and everything. Mm -hmm. But this was all done in Onondaga, and it's part of the uh, stuff we were learning, you know, you know learning stuff about the history and then we talked about the dam she talked about the dam and all that history about what happened back then some of the things what was the dam? and the language you know about how it uh, how they came through here and there was uh, the roads you know the, there was houses moved because they thought the dam was going to flood you know but it never did hmm. it never did back up the only hmm. time it backs up is in the springtime like flooding season, hmm. but the uh, the wings are hard to swallow. <laughs> and why are they important to our people? Yeah, and that just goes to the history of it. You know, we all we hear these stories about about Sullivan raid and you know that years, and then it just so happens if you look into the going back into the uh, the years that comes out, 17 years, you count back, and that's a year after the Sullivan raid, the, the initial Sullivan raid, and that's when the people said, after they had burned our our crops and destroyed our our, uh, our, our uh, orchards and whatever, it was that next year that they were able to uh, uh, eat the locusts when the locusts came out. So they they were thankful for that, you know. So. You can just imagine the disruption that of uh, the uh, what we had, what our ancestors had to go through, and and to, to still be here for us to still be here. It's amazing because they came through and uh, people had just scattered all over, and a lot of our people went to Buffalo Creek, and some stayed, and the ones that I think I believe that the ones that stayed. Uh, New York or wherever it was that said that we probably wouldn't we wouldn't be here in 25 years We won't be here in 50 years. We'd be just assimilated and uh, They wouldn't have they wouldn't we wouldn't be a problem anymore So and that, that's that's just the policy the policies that were put on of us through the government uh, the boarding schools all all a part of uh, You know trying to be rid of rid of us and our ways and our, our, our being being people of our own uh, nation to, to uh, no longer having a nation uh, a confederacy that uh, and that would eliminate that that guilt I guess of, of what happened what they did to us so there would be no history of it nobody would talk about that history it would be hidden in history books. So it was just amazing that they did, they did have this stuff in history about the Sullivan raids, about the... And we knew people who did experience the boarding schools and come back with their stories. Uh, and that was a policy of extinction. And for us to, for us to still be here uh, is, an, is a, you know, something that... How, how connected we are to... Uh, to where, where you come from and how you're able to uh, keep that uh, keep that strength and desire to maintain who you are and there's so many people now who don't know where they come from it's very it's very uh, it's very uh, critical to them to know where they where they are where they come from their history their, their lineage you know their ancestry uh, and and some of it's good and some of it's bad. You know? and, but you have to understand that that's, that's part of what, what, pe what we do to each other, you know, as, as, as human beings. Uh, why, why we have to 
And that's why we got the message of peace, because we were like that at one time, just warring with each other. And we caught the message of peace, where at least five nations could come together and lay down on weapons and say that this isn't how we were meant to be treating each other. Uh, but, and that became a, uh, it probably became a force, but it also became a part of a protection for people that were, uh, that, that was a small nation that was attacked. They could seek our, our protection and come to, and follow the, what they say, to follow those white roots of peace. And, uh, so we, we, we drew in a lot of people, you know, and some of, some of their ways were kept and some of them were just, were just uh, dissolved into our, into our communities. So, and, you know, that's just uh, a, lot of that, a lot of that history that we don't know, that we, uh, we, the more we delve into the uh, archives and history books and stories, you know, it's all what, what our elders told us is verified through, through documentation. And, uh, and, we're, and uh, we're teaching historians tell them these stories and they go and find these stories and, and, and attest to them. Through the, it's all written and it's all recorded someplace. And so our old history is very, very dependable.